But Phil Gregory, what's your hope? You, you filed this suit, you have uh, against the federal government, you have a couple of youth uh, <clears throat> plaintiffs. Uh, play out for us what, what, you, what you're asking the government to do. What, what are the, these youth asking of the government? Sure. And what we're, our, our goal is in this case is that historically there have been, I'm going to call them statute-based lawsuits, where you find a particular problem and you go after that problem. But labeling the polar bear as an endangered species is not going to solve the human-made climate crisis. So what you've got to do is approach it at a macro level. And you've got to say uh, uh, to the courts, you, either in the federal court, we've filed actions in 50 states. We're also filing actions in various countries throughout the world. You need to take charge of the situation. You, need, you the judge, need to declare that there's a problem here and that the government, the sovereign, as David was talking about, is not doing enough to protect the trust, to protect the natural resources. And so you need to require that the various federal departments or in the states, the state agencies, as well as uh, uh, um, other countries, that all these judges need to require that these departments present an appropriate plan so that we're going to bring down the parts per million problem over the uh, next century. It's, and what we want the court to do is not itself institute a regulation or not itself say, this is what you must do, this particular act. But rather, we, what we're saying is, you, the uh, uh, state agencies, you the federal departments, need to come forward with a plan that works. And then, so, and then you want the, the government to come back with this plan and the court to say, okay, and, and, but this is all grounded in science. We should say, what's the baseline? The, the foundation here is what some scientists are saying is what needs to be done to stabilize the atmosphere. Yes, um, I have here the book uh, Jim Hansen wrote, Storms of My Grandchildren, and Jim is really behind bringing our youth, our, uh, his grandchildren, and future generations into the equation and saying, who's walking, watching out for them? So Jim has helped us assemble a dream team of experts. But it's not just science. And it's important to emphasize that. We're talking about national security issues. We're talking about. Uh, uh, economic issues. You have the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, Mike Mullen, saying, whatever the root cause, climate change's potential impacts are sobering and far-reaching. And he, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff views this as a major crisis. So we're not just going to present the courts with a dream team of scientists. We're going to bring in insurance individu individuals associated with the insurance industry, former military personnel, everything to say that this is a national problem. Our youth have recognized it. Our youth realize we're close to the tipping point. And you, the court, need to recognize that as well. Because once a judge realizes how close we are to having a major catastrophe on our hands, he or she will then, we believe, bring the departments in, fr in front of the court and say, you have to do something now. 